back. I'm here with Chris Kelly, Executive Director for the West Monroe West Washita Chamber of Commerce, and we're talking about three awards that are coming up. It's yeah. time to spotlight businesses and people in our community that help others. Absolutely. You know, there are a million untold stories, and every year the Chamber tries to recognize uh, three different individuals. We have three namesake awards that we give out mm -hmm. at our annual banquet. And uh, one is for more lifetime achievement. One is uh, in the name of entrepreneurship. And one is more community impact. And so we need the community's help. We need our members' help to tell those stories and put in a submission um, so that we can, you know, recognize that business and that individual truly making an impact. What are the qualifications for the award? Yeah, so there's three awards. So we'll go from uh -huh. the top. AOS which is named after the uh, chamber namesake. So think their lifetime achievement, someone that's really done something for the business community that leaves a lasting impact. An individual. An individual okay. themselves. And if people want to see examples of who has won these in the, uh, in the past, they can go to our website, westmanorchamber.org slash awards 2024. Um, so that's A.O. Evans. The second one is Johnny Huntsman. Everybody yeah. knows Johnny's Pizza. Uh -huh. So we named an award uh, in honor of him and his entrepreneurship and really setting an example example surrounding how you run your business in a, a way that uh, engages your employees uh, and pays it forward. Mm -hmm. So that's an entrepreneurship award. And then third, a relatively new award with us is called the Burt Hatton Community Impact Award. So Burt Hatton, former mayor of West Monroe, had lasting impacts on the community and really set the bar for what it is to be a, a public servant. Mm -hmm. And so there was a, the, the board uh, named an award after him. So uh, the first recipient was Burt Hatton. The second one was uh, Janet Durden, who is with oh, United yeah. Way. So I like to say about that award is after that person is no longer doing that role everyone in the future will be measured against them they've changed the fabric of our community as a result of their work mm -hmm. so that one's really fun and relatively new but really someone fits in one of those categories and we need the public's help to tell that story um, again all that information and the online application so it's real mm -hmm. quick uh, it's on our website westmanerchamber.org slash awards 2024. When is the award ceremony? So the award ceremony is at our annual banquet which is December 3rd right after uh -huh. Thanksgiving uh, but the deadline for nominations is a week from today okay. on November 4th because it takes us a little time to judge yeah. and, and all that kind of stuff. Go, go ahead and get that done. Oh yes please yeah. and and you know encourage your neighbor encourage that person in the community encourage your banking uh -huh. friends to submit that one of those nominations there are a million untapped stories that we want to be able to tell we just have to have that nomination yeah, to do it. So think about it. All right mm -hmm. Chris thank you so much. It's thank great you. to have you. My pleasure. Up next we'll have all the information on the Kiwanis Pancake Day. That's after the break. Stay with us. Extra $100.